I'm Mei Ling Loco. Um, I'm a student, a PhD in architecture, and I've spent the last five years trying to figure out how to make use of waste from agriculture, mainly coconut husks that you see behind us. Um, over the last year, we, I, we've been working with a professor at Rensselaer, Demetrius. Hi, Dee. Hi, I'm Demetrius Kumajomos. I'm a professor at RPI. And these are the students uh, from the studio. Everyone introduce yourself. <laughs> I'm Cody, I'm a, um, a rising fourth year student at RPI. I'm Sarah, I'm a rising fourth year student at RPI as well. Elijah, same as them. Uh, I'm Allison, also a rising fourth year student. Vivian, also a rising fourth year student. I'm Elaine, I'm also a rising fourth year student. Hi. Okay, Thank you. so we spent the last week building. Um, the idea behind the panel is how do you get a panel um, that has a really easy to assemble mechanism? Um, you don't have any parts, you don't have any screws, uh, sorry, you don't have any nails. We use bolts and, 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 and nuts and we assemble it pretty quickly. Um, the idea is we're using different types of agricultural waste. So you see the coconut in front. At the back is sort of burlap which is used for cocoa sacks. Um, and so you have a composite, a biocomposite panel over here. Um, and so the idea here was we are using all sorts of upcycled materials. You see surge, atope, cloté, um, plastic waste, and trashy bags are selling in the middle um, all their waste. And on top you see the bamboo structures with um, recycled uh, waste from billboards provided by trashy bags. So we're trying to rethink the value of waste, um, and that's what we're calling the upcycling pavilion. What has the response been like so far? What's what, been the response been? Yeah. I think people are shocked that this is coconut. What have you guys heard? Like, uh, people... Yeah, people have been amazed. People have been amazed that uh, coconut, which is a material they think they know, can be used as something like a uh, structural material, a brick, something that feels stronger than plywood, uh, something that has resistance and strength. So people have been really excited and really impressed. Mm. So is this available for, you know, regular construction? Um, so, I started a company called Ambis Technology. Um, at the moment, we're developing acoustic panels, and we're mainly selling them uh, sort of for high-end acoustic control. Um, we're hoping to bring them to Ghana in a year or two. Um, it depends if the market is here, but we're definitely trying to uh, find alternate affordable building materials for this context. So, just in a, in a bit of time when we're able to start up here, definitely. Are they affordable? Uh, it depends. So, if it was flat, you know, sort of like a plywood sheet, yeah, we could be competitive. But with this geometry, these materials, um, it's kind of expensive for the Ghanaian market at the moment. Yeah. Especially because it's in the experimental phase right now. Whenever you're in that first phase of development, um, it's got a higher cost. But compared to other materials of the same geometry, it's actually competitive. What has your experience been like? You know, working with this, a chalewate, what do you think, just general? It's been great. Every, uh, all the Ghanaian people we've met here in Jamestown and Accra have been incredible. Uh, every time we've been on the site, we've had people helping us, people working with us, which has been an unbelievable experience. So we thank everyone for hosting us uh, and allowing us to do our work here. And we just went to the Manche's um, house and we had him stand on a panel and it didn't break, so that was the ultimate <laughs> test. <laughs> thank you so much. All right, thank you so much. Thanks for talking to us.